I'm Richard Dornhart, and welcome to another episode of 7 Minutes of Security. Today I'm here with Mackenzie Jackson, one of our Microsoft device specialists. I'm actually really excited to have this conversation today because uh, I'm really interested in understanding what's happening under the hood from a security perspective with these Microsoft Surface devices. Can you maybe give me kind of a high level overview of what's happening? Yeah, definitely. So Microsoft uses a multi-layered protection strategy that works from chip to cloud. And what's great is that every component is built and maintained by Microsoft. So that gives IT more control, proactive protection, and ultimately peace of mind. Is that is that something that's unique to Microsoft in terms of the ability to, you know, kind of owning that manufacturing process and all the components in, in, inside it? Yeah, definitely. So everything is built and maintained by Microsoft, even down to the device itself. Every hardware component is built by Microsoft. Interesting, interesting. And you mentioned this concept of chip to cloud. Maybe you can explain what that means in, in a bit of detail for me. Yeah, so with um, chip to cloud security, it starts down at the UFI, or the BIOS is what most yeah. people will call it. And what's unique about that is, again, it's it's built by Microsoft, so they can be 100% sure of every line of code that's running on the device. Right, and and it's not, it's normally, the organization doesn't own the BIOS, they're not building their own BIOS, is that right? Yeah, so sometimes what um, other vendors will do is actually take um, an off-the-shelf BIOS from right. A company such as American Megatrends, and they'll just plop it on the device. This way, Microsoft can be a hundred percent sure of every line of code that's running. Right, that's really cool. Um, what about what about the the TPM chip? How does you know maybe explain first off what TPM stands for, and then maybe tell us a little bit about what what's going on there. So, with the trusted platform module chip, which right. is what a TPM chip is, that that actually provides your your hard disk encryption and works with Windows BitLocker. And that's also where your most sensitive information is stored, like your, your biometrics that's used with Windows Hello. So how do Surface devices integrate with Windows 10? Well, the great thing is that when you have hardware and software built together, naturally there's going to be some efficiencies. So with Surface devices, the security is built in, not bolt on. So you don't need to install any security agents. It leverages the security agents that are already in Windows 10 itself. Right, so you get you know, one. It probably makes management a lot easier. Um, I understand, uh, and and obviously it's going to increase the security exponentially. Kind of having a single platform to to maintain from a security perspective, and the integration of both the sounds like the operating system and and the device itself. I'm wondering how do you how do you keep the security current on, on the device? Well. With, um, with Surface Security, um, Microsoft invests a ton of money in making sure that it stays current. And one of the best things about this is that they actually leverage the Microsoft Security Graph. And with Windows 10, you've got over a billion devices that are across the globe. Microsoft is able to use this security graph to, to see all of the incoming threats and build patches for them, which are automatically updated through Windows Update for Business. So it dramatically reduces kind of the overhead that's put on the IT team. Exactly. They have enough to worry about yes. these days. Yeah. They, they don't have to worry about updating drivers or, or device firmware when Windows Update for Business will automatically just do it for them. Absolutely. And you know, one of the, probably one of the things that IT teams do have to think about differently today is how the users you know, where the user's located. I think, you know, traditionally, uh, a lot of our users were, were working from an office, but, yeah. you know, times have changed. Uh, we've got users working at, a lot of people working at home, working from a lot of different locations. How does it make it easier for them in this remote environment that we're all working in? Well, in enrolling devices into Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Intune is, is the first step. With Surface, that gives you access to DFCI, or Device Firmware Control Interface. And what that allows IT teams to do is control um, OS processes and, and OS configuration down to the firmware level from the cloud. That means they could be at home or at the office and be able to manage the device in a way that's down to the firmware level itself. Right, which is, which is quite unique, I suspect, yeah? Definitely. Now, with all, you know, with the changes and the fact that people are more mobile, they're moving around a lot more, um, you know, working out of the office, what happens if I lose the device or it gets stolen? 
Well, Surface devices are natively encrypted with BitLocker, even to the point that where when the device is updating its, its own firmware, it's still encrypted. So it should give you some peace of mind. Fantastic. Now, here's something that's near and dear to my heart, the concept of passwords, right? We have massive challenges around credential theft. It's probably one of the leading issues when you look at uh, organizations that do have a security incident. It's usually related to some sort of password situation. Yeah. What is Microsoft doing to help us remove the requirement for a password? Well, you're completely, completely right in that people tend to cycle through the same yeah. passwords and really what, what you can do is build a passwordless solution. And with the device, you've got all the biometrics with the Windows Hello camera yeah. um, or a fingerprint reader, and you can use those biometrics um, to enable a passwordless solution with another device such as a YubiKey. What's a YubiKey? So think of a YubiKey as like a car key for your device or your M365 account. It, it provides a second form of authentication when you're authenticating to your device or an M365 application. That's really interesting. So we're getting, we're, we're getting to that point where we're not gonna need a password anymore, which is fantastic because I know most people have lots of passwords to try to remember and the more we can get rid of, the, the safer we're all gonna be. So Mackenzie, uh, can I demo one of these devices? Definitely, we've got um, a demo program and we ship devices around the state. Um, with, with any demo device right now, we'll even give you some free Yubi keys. Really? Yeah. That's fantastic. In fact, for the first 25 people that get in contact with us, either through our website, which is www.data3.com.au, or get in touch with their account manager, we'll give you one free Yubi key with a demo device so you can test out how you can go passwordless. So Mackenzie, thank you very much, mate. This has been a fantastic conversation. We've learned a lot today about Surface and Surface security. Uh, and if you'd like to get more information about what we've talked about here today, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Data3 account manager or get in touch with us at the website. And thank you very much for your time.